Hi, right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to draw the first angle orthographic projection of this isometric figure shown here. Before we begin, we need to identify where our three views are. This is the front elevation indicated in view. And then from the front elevation, we rise up and look down. That will be We begin by dividing the square grid paper into four quadrants. Is for 45 degree line. Our starting point is 10 mm from the horizontal axis and 10 mm from the vertical axis. So therefore, our starting point will be here. We begin by drawing the 25 mm base of the front elevation, which is here. Then the rectangle in front is 15mm in height. For another 15mm. Now the le the total height when viewed from the front elevation is 30mm. So therefore we will extend this by a further 15 mm. Okay. Followed by here. Extend it by and we close it up. Okay, we'll clean this up. Okay, this region here would be where our slope is. The common mistakes, the common mistake that students make is to literally put the length of the slope over here. Right. I don't quite like this line. Don't just let me touch it up a little bit. You don't mind. The next label it as the front elevation. Extend out the projection lines. For the horizontal and the projection lines for the vertical. Next, we will proceed to look at plan view. 
which looks like this so from the top when we look down we should expect a 25 mm by 25 mm square on top and a 25 mm by 15 mm rectangle below back to our drawing our starting point will be 10 mm away from the horizontal and 10 mm away from the vertical so we will first draw our 25 mm square at the top Now, from the top, the entire length is 55 mm. So I'm just going to ignore the slope here and going to extend the line all the way down to the entire length is 55 mm. Likewise over here, you notice that it's easier if you avoid the slope, then you'll be able to get the dimensions of the slope right. So our rectangle below is 25 mm by 15, so that's 15 over here. Okay, and there you have it, your plan elevation. This portion here would be how our slope looks like from the plan elevation. Label your plan elevation and extend out your projection lines. And it touches the 45 degree lines. Upwards. Starting point: ten mm away from the horizontal and ten mm away from the vertical. We have a base of fifty-five mm for the end elevation. height of 15 mm here you notice that the projection lines will serve as a guide and on this side it will be 30 mm the top of the figure has a horizontal length of 25 mm again I avoid the slope and I'll start from here which is 15 a horizontal line 15 mm. okay then all we have to do for the slope is to connect these two points remember to label your end elevation We do not need to write the dimensions down because we have drawn it to scale. The scale of 1 is to 1. You remember to indicate the symbol for first angle of the graphic projection. And there you have it.